In today's video, I am going to share with you my brand design system using Notion and Adobe Illustrator. You are basically going to witness how I organize myself before starting a branding project. For your branding project to be successful, you need to stay organized and not feel overwhelmed. This is why I am using Notion and I made a template called Design System. This design project helps me stay on track with the project I am working on, the things I have done and the things that I have still yet to do. So to be able to show you how this works, I am going to start a new brand identity, new brand design project and are we going to start with how this design system is working on Notion. All right, here we are into my Notion and I went right away into the page that I created called Designs Project. So those design projects are passion projects uh, that I have to work on and I already worked on. Just a reminder of things that I need to do into Notion. I also have one page uh, for client where I use the exact same design system, but I let the passion project slash clients in two different pages. Anyways, here we are into our design projects and so we are going to work on a new brand today to show you how I do my brand organization process. So we're going to work with Secret Touch. So as you can see, my passion projects are in different categories. I add the name of the brand, uh, what their uh, company is about and what I have to do. So in this case, we need to create the brand identity, make some mockups, do their Instagram post. I need to make a Behance project for my portfolio. And so this is something that I need to create. So let's get started. So when I click on it, it's going to open like this sub page. And this is where you can see uh, the design system and we're going to open this as a page. So here we have our page I made a cover. This is handmade lingerie. You can make a cover of whatever you know the brand is about. So on the tag we have to create, not I have things left to do, already talked about that. And then when we got started and we got started today when I filmed this video. Uh, this is exactly the same for a real life client. This is how I will organize myself. Then we have our design system. So here this is a gallery view. I also have it by statue. So this is current, what we are working on, what we'll need needs update, in progress and complete work. And then we just have a view list of the things um, that is going on. All right, so let's go to our design system. And so my design system, the, this is how I like to have it at first. It's a gallery view. So right now the only one that is um, in progress will be the client brief. So in my buy statue, I will bring this and put it in progress because we are working on the client brief. Client brief is over, so I will do complete work because I've already talked with the uh, client, which is myself. Uh, because that's a passion project. So what we, did we do in the client brief, what this includes? For a real client, it will include the query form that he filled up on my website. It will also include our brief uh, when we call each other with all the question answer. It will also include any type of uh, information that the client gave me, their Pinterest board. In this case, my client brief looks like this. I uh, picked up a brief from goodbrief.io. So so we have like the basic information and then I went into like four little categories which is keywords. Uh, the target audience is college students, 18 to 25 years old, want to be comfortable and chic. A mission statement uh, will be the handmade lingerie. The goals of the company are brand awareness. Now we will work on the inspo and mood board. So right here, what I put in inspo and mood board, I will start with tons of pictures from either Pexel and Splash, Vanto Element, Adobe Stock, everything that gave me inspiration for creating this brand. So it will be like different color palette and I will put everything right here. And then when I have all of that, I will start creating the mood board into Adobe Illustrator. We will come to that afterwards. Next into our design system, we have 
typography. Once I've got some inspiration on typography here into my inspo, I'll get into the real typography here. And here, for example, I got some uh, IDs. Also, you probably wonder what are those cards? White. It's just because I haven't had any cover, but I could add a cover right here. This is just aesthetic one. For the typography, I put serif and display. This is what the client one, this is what we want for the brand. So this is just like little notes, comments that I put to myself. And then every little typography that I will find either on Adobe font, Google font or Invento Element, I will add the link right here to go pick it up later, download it and add it to my project. Once this is chosen, what I am sure, I will add a typography system, typography guideline right into this board to then apply it into the brand guideline that I will send to the client, okay? Then we have the color palette. Primary color, secondary color, accent colors with everything about them. The Xcode, the CMYK, RGB and Pantone color. So everything is going to be right here for me to be able to build a brand guideline later on. We will also make icons or uh, illustrations. So here we will do the same, some notes on what I want. And once this is drawn, so I usually draw it on Adobe Fresco, on Procreate, and when this is drawn, I will add those sketches into uh, this page, icon and illustration, and every little icons and assets I will also I'll put them right here. And then when we are done with all of that, we're also going to add all of our logos. I usually only add the black uh, version or at least one color version of it. So this is our design system. This is how I work, this is how I stay organized. Now I wanted to show you how I start this design system into Adobe Illustrator, how I set up my document. All right, so let's go into Adobe Illustrator now. What I do first is opening a new file. Here is how I set it up. I love to start my project, especially if only for the web, so passion projects uh, with RGB color. I'm gonna do a 300 PPI and I only start with a little board of 1920 by uh, 1080 and I only add one board for now. So this is what, this is my, just my starting setup. Doesn't mean nothing. And I will do create. As you can see, we have one artboard. I haven't titled my project yet, but it will be titled Secret Touch once I save. The first step is creating a mood board for the brand. I would start adding images and everything that I found from Notion to Adobe Illustrator. So let's quick go back to our Notion and I have made my research. I have already got my inspo. So if I click on uh, inspo mood board right here, as I was explaining later, I'll do galleries. So earlier that was just showing you what I put in it, but here is the real example of it. So if I click on imagery, you can find all of the imagery that is from the web. I haven't downloaded them. They are all a copy link addresses. So this is the mood that we are going for, for this brand. They all look a little bit alike. Then we have our colors. So this is some accent color right here that maybe I would love to use and more like natural effect, natural colors. Then we have the type um, style that I would like to see on the logo. And we have a uh, quick texture, some, some silk and some lace. So the first thing I will do is uh, make a mood board. So I can either use this artboard that is already made or I can create a new one. Usually I use this artboard just because on this part of the mood board, I am um, showing imagery, texture, types, colors and all. And on this part, I am quickly add a brief or like a description on the mood board and why I made those uh, decisions. All of the pictures that I want to use, I will do that, add them, embed them, and then use them on my artboard, right? Yeah, so this is how I get myself set up. You guys, if you liked my brand design system using a Notion and Adobe Illustrator, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching uh, today's video. I cannot wait to see you next Wednesday. Until next time, take care and I will see you very soon.